Hey Gemini, what's going on? I hope you are very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a little cheeky <laughs> love reading for um, October. Yeah, October. Um, but you know, it's all my readings are timeless. So uh, you're very welcome here, Gemini, of course, as always. Um, you, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. So you're coming out of a healing period, Gemini. You've been in something of a dark night of the soul for a lot of you, where you were kind of kind of being a bit defensive, but not in a bad way, just because obviously you've been hurt in the past. Um, and you needed some time to heal, okay? But there's a breakthrough, you're coming out of that now, you're closing down a cycle and you have a new love coming in, okay? So, why don't we just go straight into it? <laughs> um, okay, before we, okay, before I pull more cards, you've been in also a period of looking after your own body, okay? You might have, um, I don't know, it might have been a couple of years, might have been a couple of months, a couple of weeks, it's gonna be different for everyone, but looking after your body, sleeping, eating, uh, healing health problems, possibly starting a business for some of you, because um, you have been very hurt in the past by someone or multiple people and you needed time to get over it, okay? So tell, who's this new person? Let's just go straight into the new person. Um, who's the new person coming in for Gemini, please? Tell us about the new person coming in for Gemini. Okay, you have the Eight of Wands has flipped over. So... This is communication. It's also something moving at a fast pace, Gemini, all right? So it's it's literally like um, you've been in this healing period, right? And it's felt like nothing's moving, nothing's moving, nothing's moving, oh my God, nothing's happening. But you needed to be ready, you needed to be healed. Um, could be a water sign coming towards you. Okay, tell me about this person coming in for Gemini, the new person. That's a lot. Okay. Apparently we're still talking about you here, okay? Um, and you have the hanged man. So, you have been defensive, okay? You have the queen of swords here, the devil, the star, and the hanged man. You needed some time, basically, to heal. This is what spirit wants to drive home. You haven't been stuck. You, you needed this time to heal. Okay, because you were dealing with a toxic energy in the past. Maybe someone who liked to drink too much, actually, Gemini. Um, so that's the, been the reason for the delay, for this new person not coming in, okay? Right, Spirit, tell me about the new person for Gemini. You have the Seven of Pentacles and the World. So there's been a period of waiting while some kind of cycle closed down. This could be your new person as well has maybe been waiting to end something or they've been closing down their old cycle, uh, their own cycle. Tell me about the new person coming in for Gemini. Tell me about the new person for Gemini. See, it's been slow. This has been slow moving and then something's gonna happen all of a sudden. You have Justice and the Ace of Cups definitely someone new. So this could be someone that you're waiting for. Maybe you've met this person already, maybe you haven't. Um, this person is going to decide on new love, okay? It's possible for some of you that they've been in their own situation, um, that they've been kind of waiting for the right time to close down. With the Justice card, it could be a Libra, um, with the justice card, but they've been making, they've made a decision to go for new love here, which is you. And you have the death card at the bottom of the deck. Th this person is closing down their own, their own cycle. Okay, clarify these cards for me, please. 
It's actually going to happen so fast that you're going to be very suspicious of it, okay? Because you've been waiting for so long, you're going to be like, this is too good to be true. What's going on? Um, clarify the Eight of Wands, yeah. Gemini, this person is leaving someone behind, all right? You have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This person's leaving... They're leaving their own long-term situationship behind. They could be married, they could be engaged, it could be like someone that they've been, you know, they're not, like, they've been involved with in some way, but it looks like it's been for a long time, okay? But with the Eight of Wands here and the Ten of Pentacles, they're coming in fast for commitment with you. Oh, yeah, they're definitely leaving something but Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so you have the Page of Swords here, right? Again, the same energy, leaving something behind, taking one last look at something, yeah. The camera went to 555 as I said that, change. There's change happening for this person and it's coinciding with you healing, coming out of your healing period. So this person is leaving something behind, you have the Six of Swords leaving something behind and you have the Three of Cups. I suspect that you guys have been involved in some kind of third party here. Um, this Emperor is randomly facing the wrong way up along with the Six of Pentacles. This new person that you got coming in, they could be an Aries, but you know, obviously that's, they don't have to be at all. Um, the, the Six of Pentacles, this person is very giving very very generous i have a feeling that you're gonna get a little spoiled here and <laughs> because you're not used to it it's probably gonna like freak you out a little bit um the emperor someone very they're very mature very mature energy very stable very faithful very wise very well respected um usually very successful they don't move fast despite the fact that the emperor represents a fire sign the emperor does not move fast um, they could have been your boss or like a customer or something like that with the Six of Pentacles. Um, but very, very giving, very generous energy. See, this is the thing. Yeah. You, if this person had come in, look again, the Queen of Swords and the Devil. You've been dealing with some kind of devil energy from your past that has made you very closed off. Okay, and I'm not blaming you. That's what everybody does, right? That's human nature to defend yourself, right? <clears throat> There's the person that done, done you dirty in the past, right? The Knight of Wands with the Five of Cups. This person could have been, they could be a fire sign from the past. Um, or, you know, maybe you think that, I don't know, I don't know, maybe you think that they're, I don't know, say you think they're a Gemini, but actually they have a fire rising, right? Player energy, in and out, flaky, didn't know what they wanted, broke your heart, made you have your defences up. You needed time to heal. With the nine of wands, you were very, you were hurt. The past person hurt you. You needed time to heal. Because this new person coming in, they're very generous. They're very stable, they're very faithful, they're very loyal. They're going to want to be, I don't want to freak you out, Gemini, okay, but they're going to want to be in a commitment with you, I think, quite fast. I think you're going to get a lot of attention very fast. And, you know, like, they might want to spoil you. You know, like, to, I don't know, take you out for dinner or cook you dinner. Do you know what I mean? Just a lot of attention. And because you were kind of messed up about this past, I think if they had come in earlier, it just would have freaked you out and you would have been like, no, just, just, like, I can't, just leave me alone. Do you know what I mean? Not intentionally, but I think you would have sabotaged it, frankly. But you have the Ace of Wands has come out here as well. So this is this is a new beginning coming in because with the Queen of Cups, you've done your healing. Okay, you needed some time to heal, to learn proper boundaries, to know what you will and will not accept. And to understand that this is not too good to be true. This new person coming in could definitely, they could have water in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra. The Gemini, the new person is a sweetheart. They're so different to who you left behind. Basically, I wanna say like you left the devil behind and you have an angel coming in now. And you're gonna, even at this point in your healing journey, you're gonna think they're too good to be true because you've been burned in the past.
okay? But it's not too good to be true. And now I think you're at a point in your healing period where you can accept it, you know? Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please. The Ace of Wands. So you've been waiting for a new start with this person. Um, I feel like the, yeah, there's that Three of Cups again. There's a third party here. Yeah, there's a third party involved in this. Uh, clarify the world. But listen, this person is making a decision to go for you. Okay. You have the world and the Knight of Wands. I'm not sure that's meant to be there. This is still talking about you. Look. This is the Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. This is the person you were dealing with in the past. You've definitely closed down a cycle with this person. Spirit wants you to know this could not have come in until you had released the past person because you would just keep projecting it. And I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but Spirit is repeating themselves, so I have to say it. Because you might be like, oh my God, why has it not come in sooner? Oh my God, I'm annoyed with this person for not coming in sooner, but you weren't ready, Gemini, okay? You had the Five of Pentacles, you were heavily left out in the cold in the past um, by this past energy. Right, tell me about the new person. Tell me about Gemini's new person. Um, clarify the world, please. You have the devil and you have the queen of swords. Okay, this person is dealing with their own devil, basically. You were in a toxic connection. This new person's also been in a toxic connection, right? They're with someone, male or female, who is a bitch. Um, very critical, very withholding of love. Um, just very cold. This person has been in their own cold, dark place. See how different you are? There's you, Queen of Cups. Compassionate, loving, soft. This person is um, getting ready to end their own cycle with someone very toxic. Very toxic, yeah, look. Eight of Pentacles, sorry. And the, the Tower, they're getting ready to end this. And you know, with the Tower, it's, obvious, it's, it's usually something that happens quite fast. Because if you think about it in this way, it's a it's a bolt of lightning hits the tower and the tower collapses. It's almost like this person knows that once they say it, the shit's going to hit the fan and that's it. With their current relationship, right? So they're kind of preparing. And I do think like, yeah, look. Three of cups in reverse, getting ready to end this third party. They've been somewhere very toxic. With the Queen of Swords and the Devil, they've been somewhere very toxic. They've been with, <coughs> excuse me, dealing with their <coughs> own karmic connection. Um, clarify Justice. The Four of Wands, this person might, they might be married. Three of Cups again. They might be married or they might be engaged. Uh, they might have to get a divorce. Okay. Um, certainly, they. I, I think they probably live with the person or uh, there's something kind of long, it looks like something long term that they're going to have to figure out. Like how to get out of it. I think that's what they've been doing because they're, they're very, there's the Three of Cups again sticking out. You have the Five of Cups and the Three of Cups. They're very cold where they are. Like, it's very cold. They're very unhappy where they are. This is going to... I think a lot of stuff is going to happen all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, oh my God, you have the Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So this person is getting ready to leave their current connection for you. Basically, you have the Eight of Cups there, right? Which means 
I love it when these two come out together because the, the little guy in red has literally taken his cup of love away from somewhere where it's not being appreciated and they're going to give it to you. So I think this person is being largely guided by their intuition here. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Definitely coming in to make you an offer, Gemini, okay? Let's get some characteristics about the new person. Only the new person. Who's this uh, new person coming for Gemini? You have introvert. So they may be a little... They, they may still they're, they're like they're boss energy okay with the emperor and the six of pentacles this is boss energy you're dealing with but they may be more on the quiet side this person's gonna be loyal very very loyal to you okay um but they may be more on the quiet side like you may be the more extroverted one gemini oh my god you have total sweetheart and you have neat appearance see i just really feel it's they're so different from who you were dealing with in the past that I really think you needed a lot of time to just release the past because like if they had come in too early you would have been like just I don't know almost like sabotaging it do you know what I mean like poking at that you know like that Gemini thing like, like I'm a Gemini as well but like poking at people do you know what I mean like <laughs> until you get a reaction Oh, we have huggable here as well, so they're very huggable. I always think that about Emperor Energy, like, you know, just someone that you could really, just someone that is very comforting, you know, like Emperor, Empress Energy. What else about this new person for Gemini? Yeah, very protective. They're going to be very loyal and very protective of you. I think you're going to get an awful lot of attention from this person almost immediately water sign <laughs> cancer scorpio pisces what else about this okay you frank so they're going to be very frank with you this new person um hold on a second oh libra wants to come out they could be a libra i think we said that a couple of times right uh what else about this new person for gemini Oh, they have Leo. They can have a little Leo in their chart. Maybe they're a Leo moon or a Leo Venus. What else about this new person for Gemini, please? Wow, you have to the point and Frank. So this is like very, someone very forthright. They're going to be very forthright with you. And let's get one more. You have chilled. So they have a very chilled out energy as well. I want to get one more row. Um, what else about this new person for Gemini? You have caring. Very different from your past. What else about this new person? You have empathetic. Wow. That's a nice quality. So that they're actually going to be able to like read you. So don't be surprised if this person reads you very well because empathetic people are generally good at that. Um, what else about this new person for Gemini, please? What else about the new person for Gemini? Who's this new person coming in for Gemini? You have cute. <laughs> and you have a leader so they are something of a leadership energy this person gems uh so these two want to come out as well they're facing the wrong way hold on a second okay um you have large and in charge wants to come out as well so they could be they're definitely like boss energy this person you have self-employed at the bottom of the deck for, so for some of you they might be self-employed um but they might be physically very big this person or they have like a big personality, but they're definitely like in charge of something and you have honorable. So you're dealing with someone very honorable. Um, okay, I randomly wanted one more card for here because it's got a gap. So they, they might have brown here because I just split the deck, okay? So I hope that was a useful reading, Gemini, my lovely Gemini. Uh, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, you know, I would appreciate that very much. And as always, Gemini, many blessings, love and light.